We're giving the people what they want to see. It's time to send it. <laughs> what do you think, Moses? Let's go send it. We're giving the people what they want to see. Rachel, Rachel, what was coming off that tire? Loads of dirt. the most fun dirt bike ever made. If you can't win on this, you f***ed up. That thing runs fantastic. That thing runs fantastic. Yeah, it goes good. What a machine. Oh my God, you're all Snowy and muddy. A trash, trash my sneaks. Everywhere. Everywhere. You see, the, there is no front lawn anymore. Oh, my God. Well, that's down here to get a bath now, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Thing flies. I heard you all the way down there. Did uh, you ride it? Oh, no, I did. I rode it, yeah. What do you think? That's a really good motor. It's awesome, really huh? It sounds like serious thunder. <laughs> It's, it's no first drug bitch. <laughs> you heard it from the man. What's up, guys? This is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles in the showroom here with what is widely known of as the, the best two stroke, 250 two stroke motor ever made. This is a Honda CR250R 1999 model. After 01, they went to a K Street induction motor, which everybody in the racing industry and all the magazines hated because it had no power. This thing is an absolute ripper. I'm sure in the riding part of the demonstration, you'll, uh, you'll see that. And cosmetically, in my opinion, one of the nicest looking motocross bikes of all time. The stunning 
polished aluminum frame set off with the white, black, and red plastics with the Hoosier tires. This thing's an absolute ripper. Fast, fun, easy to work on, and affordable to own. Unlike a new two-stroke or a new four-stroke where if you blow the motor, it's going to cost you three grand. You can do the top end on this bike for a couple hundred dollars with just some basic hand tools. Uh, garage, there's only four bolts that hold the cylinder on. Extremely easy to work on. Fast, light, fun, and uh, this is an investment quality bike. They're going up in value, unlike the new four strokes. This one's been owned by, since, since it was new, by the five-time national champion, Paul Pinsonall. This was his personal bike as part of his collection. Paul's in his late 60s and uh, hardly ever rode the bike. It just sat in his garage and was on display in, in his garage and in his barn. And uh, it just pretty much needed a, a cosmetic refreshing when we, when we got it. So I'll tell you what we did. First thing we did is took it right down to the frame, steam cleaned the entire bike. The wheels were taken off. The hubs were put, put into the uh, vapor blasting machine so they're cleaned up like brand new. The hubs and wheels were cleaned. The bearings were repacked. The tires and tubes were replaced with brand new Hoosier tires, 21 inch in the front with a new tube. The front end was completely dismantled. The forks were rebuilt using new OEM Honda seals and uh, new oil. The triple clamps, if you come around the back here, you'll see these are an aftermarket set of tag metal triple clamps. These are probably about a $400 set of triple clamps, which stiffen up the front end quite a bit. Uh, it's got a brand new uh, blood red Honda front fender, new number plate. It's got a set of Renthal handlebars with Pro Grip 801 grips and a Pro Taper red, white, and blue crossbar pad. Uh, it's got uh, the um, clutch and brake lever look to be in brand new condition, as are, of course, the levers. The um, shrouds are brand new, along with the graphics, the Fox graphics, the side number plates, the rear fender are brand new. The seat is the original Honda seat. Now, this is 21 years old, and you can see the um, seat is still in excellent shape, indicating the low hours this machine has. The, the Coming to the back of the bike, it's got a brand new set of... Um, Hoosier, brand new Hoosier tire on the rear matching the front raised white letter Hoosier with a gold chain which really sets off the chrome and the rest of the bike. The original chain guide has been painted. The uh, chain roller on the bottom here was replaced. The sprockets in like new condition mechanically. Uh, it has uh, no play in the swing arm bearings or the wheel bearings indicating everything's nice and tight. The original shock is intact. Looking underneath the back here you can see everything's nice and clean and it even has the original Honda muffler in brand new condition. Going to the heart of the beast, you can see the engine's in excellent condition. The wizard went through this, uh, cleaned out the gas tank, cleaned out the air box, put a brand new air filter in it, took the part carb apart, cleaned the carb, went through all the jets, made sure everything was perfect, reassembled it with a new gas pet cock and a new fuel line, and VP racing fuel mixed at 32 to one with Castrol 927, so it smells fantastic. Uh, something you're not going to be able to tell in the video, but not only does it sound and run and look fantastic, but the typical two-stroke Castrol 927 and VP smell. It's like better than candy in the morning, better than coffee in the morning. I've got a lot of experience with two-strokes from this era. Um, raced for years. This bike can't have more than 20 hours on it. Uh, the original wheel, wheel set's super clean. Um, this was from the Paul Pinsano collection. This was not a bike that was raced for seasons and seasons of motocross or taken into the woods and smashed off of rocks and roots. This is a low hour bike that we just did a complete refresh on. When you look at the details like the hardware, the wizard put the drilled uh, washers on there, uh, brand new seat bolts, brand new shroud bolts, all new hardware here. The original hardware on the uh, engine cases is none of it stripped out, indicating the thing's never been torn apart or worked on. It's just a pristine original bike. Even the pegs, the original pegs, have look like they have zero use on it. What Kenny was talking about is if a bike had 20 or more hours, these would all be worn down, the pegs would be bent. Uh, it's got a new polished aluminum shifter, a beautiful shifter on it. Um, just a stunning piece. So uh, going around to the other side of the bike, you can see it has an absolutely stunning FMF Gold Series. It's their top of the line uh, platinum plated pipe. The engine cases are nice and clean. Uh, everything looks to be in like new condition. The brake lever is not bent. Uh, the original um, guard, rubber guard on the brake is in mint shape. The pegs look to be in mint shape. The, start, the Kickstarter has no play in it. Uh, obviously a very low hour original. Looking at the swing arm, no dents from uh, wars in the first turn. 
uh, has a Scott's protector, Scott's guard, an aluminum guard on the rear. Usually they're the stock factory ones, plastic. That's probably a close to a hundred dollar bill for that right there. Again, all the body works, brand new frames, polished motor runs like a brand new bike. And this is of course, one of the best two strokes, fastest, best running two strokes ever made. Compression tested at a buck 95 PSI, which is uh, perfect uh, factory spec. Guys, uh, underside is super clean, linkage is in good shape. Lower hour machine, and after the wizard's done with it this week, she's ready for the races. If you look at the frame rails, take a peek at the frame rails down on this side, like brand new condition uh, on both sides. Uh, no dents or damage here or on the other side. Uh, again, original seats and bench. These were riders' bikes. Um, the ones that are still out there have a lot of hours on them, guys, and have been rebuilt several several times that means that they're played out and uh, i mean a 200 hour bike which is what most of them are at here the, with the, several the, seasons are just it's just not even close it's not even comparable the last one that we restored i'm not even going to call us a restoration this is a refresh but we actually restored a 97 which was the first year the motor wasn't as good the frame wasn't as good the suspension wasn't as good the 99 had evolved and they worked a lot of the bugs out of the first edition one it didn't have the tag triple clamps and it didn't have the original seat cover because it had a lot more miles on it, a lot more hours on it. That one sold for 58.50. To give you an idea of what we think this one will sell for, I think the value of this one is north of what that one sold for. So good luck finding a nicer one. These are getting extremely rare. Being one of the best off-road bikes ever made, most of them got the wheels ridden off of them. The only reason this one didn't, Paul Pinsonall was a five-time national champion. He had a whole barn full of motorcycles, literally multiple hill climbing bikes and enduro bikes and trail bikes and this was just something one of his prized possessions that he kept in mint shape and didn't ride it really uh, very little like kenny said definitely under 20 hours on it so if you have any questions about the bike give us a call 860-454-7024 she's a stunning classic two-stroke that i would put up i would definitely Guarantee you put Chris Canning or any of the top New England pros on this and put them in the 250 class. This bike will absolutely wax the new four strokes hands down. And this bike can be run in the New England Sports Committee against the 254 strokes. So uh, I've seen it happen a, a dozen times in the last few years. The local pros are running the 252 strokes against the four strokes. So it's a modern bike, it has modern suspension. It yep, has modern suspension, but it can't, I think it would classify as a 99 you could run it at the AHMRA events in the two-stroke evolution class. So revolution. Rev revolution class. If you're looking for a bike to, to race in local expert against modern bikes, buy this bike. If you're looking for a bike for AMA revolution class, 99 or older, buy this bike. You can't go wrong. So if you have any questions, call us again, 860-454-7024. We'll ship it anywhere in the country for you for 500 approximately, East Coast, West Coast figure 600. Message us your zip code for a quote. You can ship it overseas. Hold it here for as long as you like. We have a nice collection of CRs that this goes nicely with. We'd love to hold on to the bike. But um, why are we selling this? Why are we selling this? Well, we have a huge mortgage here and a 40,000 square foot facility, and we have to sell 50 bikes a month. Uh, we also have three similar bikes. We have a Doug Henry 96 CR250 last year, the steel frame. We have uh, a uh, factory replica, Ricky Carmichael replica. I think that one's a um, O2. And then we, we already have an aluminum frame, one like this in the museum. I'd put this up with the Ricky Carmichael replica as far as fit and finish. Absolutely would roll this into the museum exactly like it looks. If you're looking for a bike to put in your office to, uh, as a decoration or, or in your man room or hang it from your bar, then this would be it, the two stroke, let the end of an era. I had a couple guys in the shop that rode this one in the process of uh, doing the refresh and general consensus is two thumbs up. So we'll give this, uh, we'll sign off on it. Definitely gets a cap on America seal of approval. Not much else to say, guys. Actually, we forgot one thing. Uh, Pinsonall being a uh, racing guru as he is, he added an ignition module on this bike here, which has four different settings. You can see it says stock, curve one, curve two, and curve three for different racing uh, um, situations here so you have four different settings just like you have on the modern bikes right now it's set at the stock curve so that'll add a little bit of tuning tunability to it but that's it folks kick-ass bike uh, i would sell this to any friend or family relative um, and and know they're getting a quality honda 
can't go wrong. Good luck baiting on it. God bless America.